Now, a deadly fire that began at Cuba's main oil terminal, the Matanzas, has now enveloped a third crude tank. After it caught fire and collapsed at a fuel depot in Cuba, visuals on your screens show dense black smoke billowing from the facility, which is spread more than 100 kilometers westwards towards Cuban capital. At least one person has died and 125 others have been injured since Friday. Dozens of firefighters have also been reported missing ever since lightning struck one of the facility's eight tanks on Friday night. The fire has now reached a higher magnitude. All 450 mil tanks are already affected. We are protecting Terminal 321 where the clear product tanks are located, mainly by preventing the spread of the fire and taking into account the flares from these tanks and the emission from the generator set. Meanwhile, the, a fourth tank is threatened, but it's yet to catch fire. Firefighters, they've sprayed water on the remaining tanks over the weekend to cool them, try to stop the fire from spreading as well. Meanwhile, the governments of Mexico and Venezuela have sent special teams to help extinguish the fire with water cannons, planes, helicopters, fighting the fire from several directions. Matanza is Cuba's largest port for receiving crude oil and fuel imports. Cuban heavy crude as well as fuel oil and diesel stored in Matanzas are mainly used to generate electricity on the island. The blaze also comes as Cuba struggles through a deep economic crisis and faces frequent power outages amid sweltering summer temperatures. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.